Good morning. Terry's here at the Two Rooster Farm in beautiful Parksville, British Columbia. It's uh, August and it's probably about seven o'clock in the morning and I'm just on my way to let the chickens out and give them some food. So it's a beautiful day. Walking through my tomato row. It's getting kind of out of control. I couldn't, uh, oops, got caught there. I'm getting lots of tomatoes. So I'm gonna be busy in a little short while dealing with those. And you can hear them inside. They want to come out. So I'm just heading into the coop. Good morning! And there they are. And they're ready to come out. Over there, I have a bunch of four little guys that are too small yet to be introduced to the group, but I'll be putting them outside probably in the next few weeks. And I'm just going to uh, have to keep my feed in here, otherwise the otherwise the rodents get in and eat it. So I'm just going to go and let the gang out. Time to fill up all their water. They get fresh water a couple times a day.
Now while they're all out eating, it's the time I had to come in and gather the eggs. You're gonna let me gather your eggs, sir. in here because this mummy always wanted to sit on some eggs and she's hatched. And you can see she has hatched four baby chicks. They're so cute. Hey mummy, look at your babies. Very nice. They're so rambunctious. She trains them so well. And then they get introduced into the flock. There we go. She's talking to them. She's saying, look, look at this food here. can hear their after they've gone out and had their food they're all going in to lay some eggs <laughs> now I gotta go out and feed the ones that I have outside here so, so this is a little area I have separate from the main coop that has birds that aren't as big yet they're not old enough. I've tried to introduce them to the flock and some of them just don't do very well. They need to be a little bit bigger so they can defend themselves. But wow, they, they really trample down the grass. But soon, every, every, every night I take a few birds and, and introduce them to the flock. And I'm just gonna give them some water and some food. finished uh, feeding the laying hens and I'm gonna head over to the meat birds my least favorite job <laughs> poor guys are only around for another week and they're getting so big and they're just eating machines 
so it's it's not fun it's not it's not easy to to feed them because they're just crawling all around you you'll see i haven't been in the garden for a few days and man the growth is unbelievable look at the weeds Ugh. yeah that's kind of <laughs> an endless job this is squash it's somewhere underneath all that mess and look at all the pumpkins <laughs> uh, in an earlier video I think I, I said I thought I was planting a whole bunch of uh, pickling cucumbers and I'm getting zucchini and pumpkin so that's okay and my beans I'm gonna be picking those today I just love the way they they hang from the arch it's really neat Beets, which some of them are going to seed, but some of them aren't big enough to pick yet. So to get at that, lots to do in here. All my herbs have all gone to gone to seed. I'm gonna have to get these coriander seeds. And this seeds seeds for my uh, tarragon. Lots of work. I'm walking down the path. Oh, look at them come. They see me already. <laughs> look at them. All right, don't bust open the fence. All right, okay, I'll get at it. So I basically have to run down to the end of the fence and so they follow me and then I have to get back here in time to be able to open the gate to get inside. And sometimes it's not fast enough. <laughs>
in. Making sure the turkey's got everything. They're not the brightest bird. I don't know why people get called turkey. Thursday. All right, come on over. You can know you can get back over here. It's just a little fence between it. You got to go around. There, you figured it out. Just gonna go and see what the boys are doing. I think it's sausage day today. supposed to be in here. There's Kim. You're pointing down too low for everybody. There you go. You there we go. What's that? What is that? Pepperoni. Pepperoni? Very nice. And you're making some sausages? Alrighty. See you later. Come on Rupert. You're supposed to be outside buddy. deserved. Good afternoon everyone. This is Terry here at Two Rooster Farm. Today along with my farm tour I'm going to give uh, you a little quick video on how to make dilly green beans. Um, I have lots of green beans at this time of the year, all fresh, fresh from the garden. And so I decided that it would be time to use them up so that they don't go to waste. So it's a very, very simple recipe. I'm, I've actually started already, but you fill, you get, you get your jars sterilized and your lid sterilized as normal. And then to each jar, you're gonna add um, half a teaspoon of mustard seed. Just a half a teaspoon of mustard seed. One or two garlic cloves, I usually use two. Half a teaspoon of dill seed, and this is fresh fresh that I just took off my uh, dill plants outside and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. So it's just in the bottom. It's better to have a big jar because you, you want your beans. You don't want to have to cut your beans. And I've started one already. So you just basically fill, you're going to fill your jar up with as many beans as you can fit into it. So when I fill this up, I'll be back with the next step. Well, that was quick. Um, before I actually fill the jar up, I was just gonna show you how to make the brine. The brine is just five cups of vinegar, white vinegar, five cups of water, and a half a cup of canning salt. So it's just basically any, any old white vinegar, any old uh, coarse salt. And you're going to just bring that to a boil. So once it's boiled, um, I will come back and then we'll be pouring that over top of the beets. Pouring that over top of the beans. <laughs> we did beets yesterday. Uh, over top of the, um, the beans sealing them and then you're going to be putting in your water bath canner for 10 minutes. So I'll be back at the next step.
realized that was still recording. So I've been cutting my beans. Um, you gotta make sure that you, you have enough head space so if, if it's the odd bean that's poking up past where you want it, then you just need to trim it a bit. So I'm just trying to cram as many beans in here as I can without overdoing it. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Lots of beans in there. I might be able to fit maybe one or two more in there. These are really good. Dunked into a Caesar. They're yummy, really yummy. Okay, we'll wait till the brine to boil. When I'm back, and I managed to get enough for five jars. So I'm just going to go over and fill them with my brine. Sealed. You're going to put it in your water bath for five minutes, um, five or ten minutes. I like five minutes because I don't like my beans to be, um, I don't want them to be too overcooked. I like them to be crisp and I put them in my Caesar. So that is it. Fairly simple recipe. Took me under an hour to go and pick my beans and uh, make the brine, add the spices. And I'm going to put them in the water bath. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that quick little uh, video on how to make dilly green beans. And, uh, and we're really going to enjoy these in a nice Caesar one night. Anyways, I will put uh, the recipe for how we make our Caesars as a little extra. So that'll be included. So... Bye for now. This is Terry from Two Rooster Farm.